Lester Banks said, the only true currency in this bankrupt world is what you share with someone else when you're uncool. And that's what I think of when I share cover songs on YouTube. It's like I'm bringing you into my room and showing you my vinyl collection and saying, what do you think? Posting my favorite songs over the years and connecting with perfect strangers who dig the same tunes, I've learned a lot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best ways that I've found to record, film, and edit YouTube covers. Let's get into it. Option number one, just use your phone. Everybody has one, it's easy to use and set up. The only setback with using your phone is the audio. The audio is trash, especially for anything to do with singing. However, there is a workaround. Since I have an iPhone, I got the Shure MV88, a digital stereo condenser microphone that attaches right to my phone. It works great and it comes with an app that's really easy to use. When I bring it into my Final Cut Pro editing software, I can still add things like delay or reverb to give it a little bit more effect. Most phones today come with 1080p or 4K capabilities. So you can't really go wrong with using your phone. Here's an example of one of the covers I've done using my phone. If you have an Android, the option for you is to use something like the Rode Video Micro. You can attach that to the headphone jack in your Android and it'll give you decent sound. You won't be able to control it as much with any kind of extra app, but when you bring it into post, anything sounds better than your cell phone audio. Option two is the camera plus a DAW combo. No matter which DAW you use, the steps will be the same. Create an audio track, input one will be for your vocals, and then create another track for your instrument, whether it's guitar or a piano or whatever. You make that the second track, input number two, and once you create both tracks, enable both tracks, and they should be blinking red to let you know that you can record both tracks simultaneously. And then you press record and you're done. But this combo is gonna mean that you're gonna have to invest some money because you'll also need an audio interface and mic cables and a good microphone. The audio interface is connected to the computer. So this is the back of my audio interface and in input one, I put my microphone and in input two, I put my guitar. The second option takes a lot more work and is also the current way that I make my YouTube covers. Even though it's more time consuming, the results are worth it to me. And that's what it's gonna come down to for you as well. You have to decide how much you want to put into these videos without worrying about how many views you're going to get. Because believe me, that's out of your control. No matter how much money you put into these videos, it will not guarantee you views. So if somebody's out there telling you, if you just get this camera or if you just get this microphone, you'll get millions of views, they are lying. Do not believe them. 
Instead, let's focus on the things that are in your control. Now me, I don't just stop with one camera. Since I have multiple cameras, I try to use every camera that I have to get different angles. This adds to the editing process and just makes it more fun for me. You don't have to do this, but if you're into cameras like I am, go for it. It's a lot of fun. Now let's talk a little bit about editing. One of the major tips that have helped me immensely making these videos, especially when I have a lot going on, when I have Logic Pro going, multiple cameras recording, um, my electric guitar, microphone, all of this stuff is going on simultaneous and I'm the only one working on it. So one quick tip that I would suggest is to clap three times before you uh, start your song. It might sound funny, but I'm telling you, it will save you so much time in editing. When you import your videos and your MP3 or WAV file, the audio file into your editing software, for me, I use Final Cut Pro, when you import all of that stuff, it will be so much easier to get started editing and to make sure everything lines up if you clap three times. I'm telling you. This is what it sounds like when you put everything you've got into your YouTube covers. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them. I hope you like this video. Please stay tuned for more. I'll be posting every week. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Love y'all. Be good to each other. Peace.